Hi everybody, welcome back. So, <laughs> I accidentally did like a bit of the Archon quest, the Realm Within, where I met up with this old lady, uh, Madam Ping. From what I know, there's like, you can build a, a house inside there or something like that. <laughs> Got it pretty neat. We're supposed to go into her pot to find like a key or something like that. <laughs> oh wow. Look at this. It's pretty neat. Huh? Where are we? What just happened? Oh, oh. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Oh, we're supposed to Whoa, find a bell. Okay. That sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? a really big What's teapot. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds oh, me of dear. that one, uh, so many cloud retainer or something like that. <laughs> it seems I really <laughs> haven't crane. cleaned it in a long while. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. Ah, oh, this all over again. This freaks me out. I don't think there's going to be any mazes in here. Did you know this? The cobwebs were made of oh. elemental energy! How long has it been since Granny last swept this no. place? No, oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, awesome. Ha! Down you go. <laughs> oh, air current. Okay. Granny has a big house. <laughs> You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? <laughs> could be. Paimon's more and more convinced that she's an adeptus. But don't they all live in Jillian Karst? Well, this one, uh, this one leaves in a teapot. <laughs> oh, why am I finding electric electricity? Electricity. Ah, that's a lot faster. Where are we going? Oh my. Back off. Motion to compare. Uh, how many levels does this teapot have? It's a big teapot. It would be <laughs> nice if we had one of these too. I think or we can. At least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Oh, there's the bell. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me... Hmm? All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Yeah. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. So is that a yes or a no? Hyman <laughs> <sighs> kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leo Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is 
what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't return it? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you. Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> that... If they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Yay. Hello. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's you, place why the you perfume so we've surprised? prepared inside. You know Madame Ping? Are you an also an adeptus? He obviously knows Madame Ping. An adeptus? <laughs> hmm. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> Taimon's impersonation. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. Now she lives in it. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Kites? Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> I think it has to do with the... with the right of party. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Alright, so here we are. Get our kite. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. Did he bring his wallet? <laughs> it's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. This guy's a professional. <laughs> he seems to know Liu's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Like flowers. <laughs> Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. 
As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before. Paimon, she. <laughs> huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the cryo Getting archon really poetic once... here. <laughs> <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... As for the payment, um, let me guess, put this on a child's tab. <laughs> well, allow me. Oh, there he is, it's the bill pair. <laughs> hey, it's child! You ambushed us? <laughs> no way. I was just passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. <laughs> he knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child. You are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, because he's going to buy everything and he's not going to pay for it. <laughs> hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Okay, find the three workers. <gasps> Oh wait, I don't have Aloy in my... in my team. How did I just like walk up to that bird and kill it? <laughs> Mysterious. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000 mora. What say you? That's a lot more. I'm broke. A most fair price. No, let's negotiate. <laughs> Ignore that it rich looking man ha who does not carry his wall around. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Uh, half price. Half price. Five geo crystal flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. See? <laughs> Alright, next one. Are we gonna do some more negotiating? So I just leveled up some of my character's talents and I have no money. <laughs> A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? <laughs> this is Lee and I'm Mondstadt. <laughs> Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Oh. <laughs> well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. No! Stop talking, Mr. John Lee. You do not have your wallet on you. <laughs> right, smack in the middle. This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. Alright, next one. I love Droni, but... <laughs> oh, why am I pronouncing his name wrong? I swear, these voice actors, 
They're like, they're corrupting my Chinese pronunciation. <laughs> His name is uh, pronounced Zhongli, but everybody's, pro everybody's pronouncing it Zhongli, so like John Lee, you know? <laughs> so I'm pronouncing it that way now, too. <laughs> oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more after a single trip. How does that sound? Done. No. <laughs> he seems like he has like the bigger authority, but no. <laughs> I have the money. We will we will talk prices. Uh, we're we're basically uh I mean we're um we're spending child's money. We should be more responsible with it, right? <laughs> huh? No, no. How about a bit more? This amount isn't worth going out of the way to make only one trip. All right, let's give you a little more. Let me think. Deal. This price is reasonable. I'll hop right to it. Yay! <laughs> we saved some money. Hi, child. I saved some of your money. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. Oh, the wow. For the Fatui should never Thank go you, Mr. Rich Guy. <laughs> you think you can buy us off with some loose change? <laughs> no way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> Looks like Paima has higher standards than me. I was too happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. Oh, what, what? <laughs> what info do you need? Paimon! <laughs> huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you shouldn't say it out loud. <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Mr. John Lee, you need to read the atmosphere here. It's a little tense. Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. I mean, looks can be deceiving, right? <laughs> he seems like an overall good man. I mean, if Mr. Jonli trusts him, then we should trust him too, right? I mean, Mr. Jonli definitely looks like a good person. Even though he forgets his wallet all the time. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, should I fly there? No. There's no shortcut. Well, maybe I should just switch to somebody with longer legs. <laughs> huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Nobody home. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Who's talking? Did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out <laughs> and Paimon will bring up the rear. Oh, <laughs> oh it's Chi Chi. Chi Chi, I mean. <laughs> Hi, cutie. <laughs> oh, there you are. But you can't even reach the counter. <laughs> Paimon, if we're going to talk about height, well, Paimon can float. That makes up for the height, right? <laughs> she a zombie. Have you ever seen such a cute zombie? <laughs> Jokes we're going to bully Paimon. Paimon. <laughs> so height is no restriction. 
the opportunity does not always come, so we gotta bully her with every opportunity we get, right? <laughs> anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's... a zombie! Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. I didn't expect her voice to be this... this calm. Like, she's like so cute, so you would expect like this super high-pitched, you know, cheeky voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by... The Adepti. She sounds soulless. Now, <laughs> Chi Chi is a zombie. <laughs> wow. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Everlasting incense? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? Prescription? I... Oh, he forgot Surely his wallet, no so <laughs> if there was a prescription, I don't think he was going to have that on it's him not a either. Controlled substance. A controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine, but only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. Ah. So she's like a, she's like an AI, except she wrote her own code. <laughs> so she confined herself with her own rules. My dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay then. How did you manage that? <laughs> she broke her code. But Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. Sell, sell me your soul. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? <laughs> Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Wow. <laughs> That's a way to put it. Go to Mount Tianhong. Find the Guizhong Ballista. And hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. So specific! I mean, does Chi Chi have something personal against a cocoa goat? <laughs> hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chenhung Pass, oh, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, <laughs> protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious about this, um, Coco Goat. <laughs> the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. Hmm. Did you want to add anything else, or...? <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> I love Paimon's, like, you know, when she pretends to, like, when she talks like somebody else. <laughs> ah, her impersonations, yes. That's the word. No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from, also don't know. <laughs> wow, you don't know anything, do you? How are we supposed to find this cocoa goat? We don't even know what it looks like. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a cocoa goat? Oh, we'll find it. We'll see it when we get there. <laughs> Go find ourselves a cocoa goat. <laughs> there we are. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. 
You could take down a dragon with this. <laughs> they call them mm. spiders in another universe. It is currently inoperable in any Oh, no, case. scorpion. <laughs> this device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! <laughs> That's a superpower indeed. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. <laughs> bourgeois parasite. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. It's like the walking Pokédex or something. <laughs> As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So... What you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. Ah, uh, we can count on him to know everything. <laughs> with the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Can we get in? Uh, I think we have to do some puzzles or something to open this gate. How do we get in it? There it is. The more the merrier. The <laughs> first round's on me. Look at all these chests. Alright, back to the ballista. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Ooh. Over here we have... Nothing. And over there, more nothing. <laughs> oh. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? Alright, fight time. So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? None of your business. <laughs> Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. <laughs> Mr. Jolie, he's also proper and collected. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. Did you just tell Mr. Jonely, old man? How this rude area is of you! This supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Mm. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. Okay. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! Hmm. The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an Adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. <laughs> Yeah, you tell them, Mr. Jolie. You give them order. Alright, time to put these rude people in their place. You do not disrespect Mr. Jolie. Oh, what? Another test. Uh, Incinerate! I think there's still one left. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Back up! Uh, I got careless. Uh, Come on. They just keep coming, don't they? 
Mess with Paimon. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast. As Chi Chi put it. Uh, which means. I don't know what that means. I wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave the video here um, since we're going to go back to Chi Chi. Uh, I have a feeling she's going to be super disappointed we didn't find a cocoa goat. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you liked it, uh, please uh, give a like and a subscribe and or leave a comment. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.